Senators did approve the district's modernization plan, which includes renovating aging schools, creating additional pre-K to 8th grade campuses, and consolidating half-empty elementaries. But as ABC 7's Asher Rodriguez reports, what should have been a smooth process turned ugly. She's live now to explain why. Estella, one of the modernization projects is creating a pre-K through first at Vilas Elementary, rebranding it the Mesita Early Childhood Center. The center is set to open this fall, which is a little too fast for some people at tonight's meeting. The term of the managers is coming to an end, and I know for Mr. Margo it's as scary as handing his car keys over to his son for the first time but it is time to hand the keys of the district over to the people of El Paso and their elected representatives. You could cut the tension with a knife. Mr. Cabrera, he's not an educator. He doesn't attend these community meetings to get the input. When we ask him to come and talk to the uh, teachers and parents, he doesn't attend. You know, he claims to have a heart of an educator, but he doesn't do jack. This all started when the district asked the 2007 bond committee to hand over some of its leftover funds to pay for new projects, including money to open the Mesita Early Childhood Center this fall, about $1.9 million total. Why would we want to use money that can go, that had, that can go to a myriad of different uses for our, uh, for our children in the uh, classroom when we have those bond funds sitting there? That's what they're there for. But the committee voted unanimously to hold off on handing over the money, opting to wait for the elected Board of Trustees. The Board of Managers overruled their recommendation. I'm pleased that everything is in place at this point in time to continue. Mesita Principal Layla Ferris will oversee the new Mesita Early Childhood Campus. She's confident that even if the board had sided with the committee's recommendation, the school would be ready. The work has to be done. We have to move forward to be ready for the children come August. But not everyone saw it that way, believing it best to wait for the elected trustees to resume office in May and vote on EPISD's projects on behalf of the people they represent. They seem to think that they can ramrod things through, you know, uh, with two months left. But of course, this is just going to benefit most of these contractors and designers, uh, architect firms, to design these things. Further deteriorates the trust uh, and the transparency within the community and within the employees of EPISD. Now I ask these folks if it helped that elected trustee Bob Jeske is now a manager on the board. He was sworn in today filling in for Blanca Enriquez who recently resigned. They said no. Although Jeske had said the decision should wait for the board of elected trustees, he voted to use bond money alongside the other managers. The Mesita schools being a part of his district. Rick, Estella? Okay. Ashley, thank you very much.